Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're excited for the P. Louise unboxing the budget box for September. I'm so excited. I've seen what we could get in here and I'm very excited to open it for you guys. So without further ado, let's just get into it straight away. Okay, so this box is special because there's one of two gorgeous palettes that I've seen that Paige herself has designed and they're gorgeous. I do really hope I do get the black one because it does have the smoky eye kind of look on one side with the greys and the blacks and then the other side is the more browns and all the neutral earthy tones but I'm really happy if I get the other one as well because the other one if I'm not mistaken is more colorful so we're going to get one of those and we're also going to get one of their new balmy sets so let's just get opening it because I just want to see it Okay, we did not get the black one, we got the holographic one, but I'm so happy with that. So shall we go and open that one? Let's open that one first, because I've been so excited to see this. Okay, we're opening the P. Louise, one of P. Louise's Halloween palettes. And this one actually says, Book of Spells, Hocus Pocus, Regain Focus, palette for eye and face. Okay, so it is not just for the eyes, it is for the face. Does that mean that there's some, oh, there's a lot that's for the eye, for the face and not for the, for the eyes. Guys, you remember last month when I showed you this box, the previous eyeshadow palette? Was that in the August box? I think it was in the August box. They've done it again with the September palette. Can you see how many black dots there are? Not many. Those are the only ones that can be used on the eye. Those are the only ones that can be used on the eye. This is a face palette. Oh, I'm a bit, I'm a bit upset about that now. It's mainly face. And there's a lot that are not useful. So there's one side, you can only use two that are suitable for the eye. The rest are for the face. And we're saying six, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of the eyeshadows, eyeshadows, but only for, uh, those are for the face themselves. Oh, that's sad. Because th these are really gorgeous palettes. So they're probably mainly good for like a Halloween look because you're gonna use them on the face, I would say. But hey ho, you probably can opt to use them on the eyes, but it's at your own risk. And probably because I think they stain the eye. So unless you use some kind of primer, or some kind of base, you might be able to get away with it, but don't quote me. So this is the palette itself, and it's gorgeous. Look how cute. I'm gonna have to get out of the frame just to show you guys what it looks like. Like, look how pretty. So it has the little lock, and the key is here as well. So that's Hocus Pocus. And look how pretty it looks. It's like a book. I just think it's really cute. So let's open it with the key. I'm just going to stay out of focus just to see this. So I'm going to open it with the key. You pop it in. And it comes out. Oh, I think I just dropped it on the floor. And let's see. Oh, it's a magnetic. <gasps> it's so pretty. So it does say hocus pocus. I'm going to get this out of the way. And I think this is the side that's mainly face. This is the side that's mainly face. So, oops. So that's the side that's mainly face. And if I'm not mistaken, yep. This is the side that has a few other colors. Which one's face or not? I'm not sure. Basic witch. I am dead. I am dead. Halloween. Oh no. Oh no, okay. This one is mainly face. This side is mainly face. So this one only has two colours which we can use on the eyes. Basic Witch, which is the first one. This one here we can use. And Hello Queen. And this one we can use on the face. On the eyes. Everything else is for the face. Like, are you serious? Right now? So sad because this is the side that I really wanted to use on the eyes. So as I said, probably they'd stain because they look quite intense. Um, just use a base. You might get away with it. But don't quote me. 
Um, so this side, you do get six colours you can use on the face, on the eyes. The other 12 can only be used on the face, ideally. So that's that. <sighs> Such a beautiful palette and so sad that the Pretty much this side is what I really was looking forward to and it's basically face shades. I don't know how I feel about that but as I said I might just use a base and a really good primer to avoid any um, like staining because I think that's what it is. Usually when they're really intense pigments it can cause staining and I think that is why because even this side, this side you can use quite a bit of them. You can use six of them on the eyes, ideally. And um, the rest, not, not suitable. But it's such a cute, it's such a gorgeous palette. I'm really curious now to see the black one. And what is suitable for the face and eye. So I'm going to see if any of my, if I have another friend who gets the budget box here in Malta. I'm going to ask her and see if she's got the black one. Just out of curiosity, because I'm so curious right now. If not, I'm going to ask someone in the UK to check for me how many of on the black one is suitable for the eye. Because the, the black one, I really wanted it because it had the smoky um, grayish black tones. So that's that one. So next, we do have P. Louise Skincare range. And this one just says... Repair from 2022. I'm healing. I'm discovering myself. I'm starting over and it's a repair lotion. I am um, honestly have no idea what this is. But I will check and review it on my page or something because I've never heard about this. I don't know what a repair lotion is and I can't really tell you much about it. So that one's that one. There's a lot of these from 22 2022 items in the beauty in the budget box um sometimes you get something like something from the skincare so Ida um she came out with the skincare and like after 2022 and she just popped some little skincare items in the boxes I just think it's really cool to have and last but not least are their new balmy um little sets now this one is called dry me bar me there was about five different scents you can choose from this one is the balmy blueberry take me with blue and um, you do get two lip balms there are two different types of lip balms one is an actual stick lip balm and the other one is like the lip conditioner so let's open it up oh they're so cute you can get out the frame and show you guys properly so this is what it looks like so one is pretty much like the lip balm itself so this one is like the OG um, lip conditioner so it has the little spout there and that one and then there's the pen which if I'm not mistaken if from what I was what I have seen is it's heart shaped which I thought was really cute so it's like a pen form which I think is really cute and yeah oh my god it is really heart shaped like look how cute and does it twist up or twist down like how do you twist it oh don't tell me I got a buggered one. Oh no oh <gasps> oh god you're joking guys guys it's a clickety one shut up oh my god okay sorry i'm just getting really excited like this i need more of sorry i got really excited with this i didn't know it was a clickety one like that is just cute and the smell the blueberry is just gorgeous i just you know i just can't so as we always talk about overall at the end of the video which one was my favorite product for this month i want to say it is the Pocus Pocus eyeshadow palette, but it's not an eyeshadow palette, it's an eye and face palette. I want to say it's this one. But at the same time, I love lip balms. As you can see, I'm wearing lip balm at the moment. So I don't know which one to say that I like the most. I'm gonna have to go with this one. I have to, I can't lie. The colour stories in the in these books, in these palettes, are just phenomenal. And if you haven't got one, 
you gotta have it. I just think it's aesthetic aesthetically wise, it's just gorgeous. But if you live if you're a lip balm junkie like me, go try one of these because you're gonna love them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't, and if you're new here, I post videos, I would say weekly, it just depends on when I have time to film. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next one.